So you want to install third party VST plugins and be able to use them inside Cakewalk? Worry not. In this video, we will cover just that. So I was just trying to install a VST plugin and I realized what a mess my entire workspace has become. At this point, it's so bad that it's pretty much irreversible. Because I wanted to save you from the same situation, I decided to make this video. So this is how I would install my VST plugins if I had to start over. Step 1. I would open a location of choice where I want to create my folders to store all of my VST plugins. In my case, that is the main C drive of my computer. For you, it could be something else. It really doesn't matter. Now, in this location of your choice, you will need to create two folders. So I will click on new folder. And now let me call this VST instruments. And then I will create another one and call this VST effects. Cool. So this is the end of step one. Let's now move on to step two. For the second step, I would open Cakewalk and under edit, I will go over to preferences. Now, once you are inside preferences, I want you to locate this option called VST settings under file. Now, the first screen that you should see over here is VST scan paths. Over here, I want you to create a new path by clicking on add. Once you're here, I want you to open the location where you created your two new folders. And you can click on these folders and then click on OK to add these as a VST path. So what this will do is that it will instruct Cakewalk to scan these folders for your VST plugins of choice. So that my friends is the second step and we'll now move on to the third step. For the third step, I want you to download your VST plugin of choice. This could be an effect or an instrument or anything else. Now, once you download your VST plugin of choice, you would most likely get a zip file and this should be in your downloads folder. I want you to cut this folder by clicking Ctrl X and then you have to go back to the folder of your choice that you created previously, which are these two folders that I've created over here. And here I want you to paste your zip folder inside the type of VST plugin that it is. In other words, if it is an instrument, I want you to put it inside instruments. And if it is an effect, I want you to put it inside effects. So that is the end of step three. And now the zip file inside one of these folders, I want you to pay attention that you're storing all of the files, its samples and everything that comes along with it inside these folders itself. Choosing a separate location might sometimes create unwanted errors, which can prevent you from using the VST. For the fourth step, I want you to have Cakewalk open and running in the background. And now we will go ahead and open the zip file like I told you and we will make sure that it is sitting in the folder in which you put your zip file. Right, so like you see it's an application. And here for the file path, you have to make sure that this is the path that that you're setting. In my case, it was VST Instruments. 
and I will click OK and next cool so we have installed our VST plugin and I will click exit and let me open cakewalk and now as you can see it has automatically scanned the VST and added it now we will create a new instrument and we will hover over plugin layouts and click on manage layouts once inside manage layouts I want you to open VST3 instrument or VST instrument based on what you saw in that application. And here is my VST file. I will click on it and add it to any category that I've created in my layout. So in my case, it is synth. In your case, you could create any category over here and add it to that particular category. Now I will save the changes to my layout and now let me see if my new toy is added to my layout. Oh, there it is. So that is the correct way to install VST plugins inside Cakewalk. If you're new to music production, I offer one-on-one -on -one live sessions that are engaging and packed with knowledge. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.